Well, the NHL season started with a bang. Three exciting games, including an original six matchup and a bucket load of goals. On most nights, that kind of scoring would make headlines. But that was not to be. Instead, what many people were talking about was this. An NHL player out cold, the result of falling and smashing his head onto the ice during a fight, igniting once again a debate over the role fighting has in hockey and leading some to say enough is enough. The CBC's Peter Armstrong has been following this all day and has our lead story tonight. Peter. Well, Peter, it sure didn't take long. First day of the season, first game of the season, we're already talking about fighting. Takes the shot, tries to save, or was there after the rebound. It doesn't take much to start a fight in the NHL, and every time the players drop the gloves, the risk of this is imminent. Wow. Oh, Paris is out. He is out cold. Oh, my goodness. George Paros left the ice on a stretcher. He left the rink in an ambulance. Even after that, there was another fight. Here we go again. One of five in this game alone. The debate over fighting as predictable as the fights and inevitable injuries that come with them. I don't know how they're ever going to get this out of the game. It's in the game. PJ, the, the line is moving. The line in the NHL is moving. It's moved on icing. Five years ago, you never thought you'd see hybrid icing. And the line moved because of the injuries we saw. Don't you think it's moving for under sport, a, Elliot? Like, it, as an example, totally we do battle at some point. In the NHL's year. commissioner defended fighting just this week on The National. You just don't throw a light switch and effectuate a major change. You try and let the game evolve within certain parameters. Now a couple more punches, and down goes Jim Thompson. Jim Thompson spent years as an NHL enforcer, defending stars like Wayne Gretzky. He says the league can throw the switch. By cracking down on cheap shots and defending its stars, he says there'd be no need for fighting, but he wonders what it will take. A death. Uh, you know, a devastating injury, uh, a, a player ending up in a coma, I don't know. I do know that the game is the best game in the world, and Gary Bettman's got to clean the game up. Fighting, however prevalent in the NHL, is conspicuously absent from the Olympics, international hockey, and even to a lesser degree, the Stanley Cup playoffs. Here's the problem. Many fans love the fights, and the league knows it. Take this new video game where fighting is a built-in and heavily promoted aspect of the game. This ensures that your tough guys will fight like tough guys, and the not-so-tough guys, well... And that, Peter, brings us back to the fans, especially the kids. Enrollment in minor hockey across this country has been flat, and critics say what we saw last night is at least part of the problem. Peter? Peter Armstrong here in Toronto tonight.